mangoes, one of the best fruits on earth. I always love to make salsas out of these. So today I'm going to show you how. So what do you think we'll need to do that? Well, a mango, an apple, a pear, an onion, some strawberries, mm, a hot pepper, a lime, some garlic, and some fresh cilantro. So first we'll be, oh, <laughs> and a mixing bowl. So we're gonna need, we're gonna need to cut our mango. So let's get a very sharp knife. I like to use this fillet knife, it's very sharp. And you see this side of the mango, the flat side? We're gonna cut straight down. So you get a flap like that. We're gonna do that on the other side. So you get the other flap. And then you see this side right here? I'm gonna cut down that too. Get as much of the flesh as you can. Now this is gonna get very slippery after a while, so you wanna be fast. When you see these parts, you can just scrape whatever you can down. If not, you can always eat it. Mm. I'll put this aside for later. So now you see this part of the skin? What I like to do, I like to take my knife and cut lines. So, so you can see, just like that. Then do the same thing again. So you'll kind of get like a cross hatch pattern. See when you flip it like that? And then you kind of fillet it just like a fish. So everything comes out. Now you scrape all of this love into your mixing bowl right here. What I like to do is you see this part right here? It's still some flavor, so I always just kind of eat it. Mm. And I discard the rest. So we're going to do the same thing to the other side. The other, the other piece that we have. Fillet just like a fish again. And we'll get whatever we can out of this piece. Just gotta be careful. Now mango sauces go very well with steaks, chicken, fish. You can stuff it, do anything to it. All right. I think I'm gonna eat this piece. So you don't need it. Okay. So now for our pear, make sure it's washed and clean. This one already is. We're gonna cut it. I like to leave the skin on because it adds a different flavor. We're only gonna need a half. So you cut that, you cut this in half also. And we just take our knife and just get the pit out. Do the same thing to the other half. Okay, so you see our pear. We just want to chop it up, so we cut this in half. Same thing over here. And I like big chunks of my salsa, so this is pretty good. See, I have them laid. Let me just slice. Just put that into a bowl. Now we take our apple and do the same thing. Cut it in half. the same apple here, cut this in half. And remember we clean and pit out the apple. 
Be very careful. Same here. Just make little slices. And I forgot to mention, you're going to need some salt and pepper, but that's in everything. So I always line up my items neat, and I always slice. Keep your fingers curled while you're slicing. We add this into the bowl. Then we take our onion. Of course, we have to discard the skin. So we cut that directly in half. We need the half of that also. Peel. like a medium. For you guys out there. Let's take our hot pepper. It's only half of this so this thing is very hot. And we're going to keep the seeds too. That's good. Now after using this pepper, do not touch your, your eyes because it will burn. So let's take our garlic, just chop that up. I like shooting the videos like this because it's a little more personal. So be very careful when cutting this garlic. Keep your fingers curled at all times. Take our strawberries. Always take the leaves off. And I always cut the tops off. Let me just cut these in half right in the middle. everything. Always work neat. And just cut them in the middle one more time. Now most people don't add strawberries and salsas, but since this is a fruit salsa, I figure why not? Just slice those. Keeping everything relatively the same size. using this knife because you can always scoop. You know, I live in a tri-state area and I always go downtown to Chinatown and I always buy all my supplies from there because they're cheap and inexpensive. Okay, take our cilantro and we leave the stems on and we roughly chop. Brings out the flavor of the salsa. 
this in the lime juice. Now, if you want to use lemon juice, you can, but it will add a different flavor. Now, I could have easily pre-chopped everything and just show you how to mix it, but I want to do everything from scratch. I like to do everything fresh. Alright, right into the mixing bowl. Okay. So here we have our mixing bowl with our ingredients. And I like to use a spatula. I just mix everything in. What I do is I add salt. Pepper. Take my lime, cut it in half, and then here I have this juicer which I bought from the store, and it's very cheap. And you can easily just stick the lime in it like this, and extract the juice faster. More of a lazy way, but it works. So that's one half, then do the other half. Okay, so what we do, mix that in. And here you have your mango salsa. Done. And for tasting purposes, that's amazing. I hope this video was useful. Please enjoy.